Hi, it's Monday, May 2nd, 2016. Uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, Donald Trump and uh, how the Trump bandwagon continues to roll along. And I think there's no stopping uh, Donald Trump right now as far as him getting the nomination for uh, the Republican uh, Party as a candidate for president uh, for the elections in November. And uh, there's a few uh, stories in the media this morning here in London, which makes me believe he's, you know, the, almost assured the, you know, the, uh, to be the candidate for the Republican Party. Uh, one of them is from NBC News, and I'll put the link below. It says, Donald, and I quote, Donald Trump leads Cruz by 15 points in crucial Indiana race. So tomorrow is the uh, Indiana primary, uh, Tuesday, uh, May 3rd. And uh, it looks like Trump is going to trounce Cruz in uh, Indiana. Uh, the other uh, interesting thing about Indiana is that uh, basketball... <laughs> The game there is almost like a religion, you know, for the people of Indiana. And uh, one of the most popular figures in Indiana is Bobby Knight, who was a coach for Indiana State basketball team, college basketball. And uh, even though he's from Ohio, I guess he's based in Indiana. And uh, he's backed uh, Trump, you know, Bobby Knight. Uh, there's a YouTube video. He was on Fox News. I'll put the link below as well for that. But basically, he's interviewed and he says that, you know, Donald Trump is the best candidate that he sees for president. He compares Donald Trump to the Boston Celtics and all the other uh, candidates to the uh, Icelandic basketball team. And uh, the other thing about Bobby Knight is, yeah, he's very popular in Indiana. He also has a history uh, major uh, degree from Ohio State University. So he... You know, he's not completely, uh, you know, ignorant of uh, history and politics. Uh, so that's very interesting because I, I remember a few weeks ago, Donald Trump saying that he would like to get the support from uh, Bobby Knight for Indiana. So I think that's quite important as well. And another uh, piece in the news, and I'll put the link below as well, was uh, an interview that uh, Maria Bartiromo of Fox News did with Newt Gingrich, who was Speaker of the House, you know, and is very mainstream uh, Republican. And uh, basically, you know, he, he says that uh, Trump is unstoppable and he thinks he's going to win in Indiana and that come Wednesday, he will, he'll be the candidate for the Republican Party. And uh, yeah, it's really interesting to listen to this. It looks like, you know, the establishment Republicans are basically falling behind Trump. And uh, I don't think, you know, uh, there's been a lot of speculation that they're going to steal, uh, you know, his candidacy. But I think it's almost impossible for them to do that now. And the other thing that uh, Newt Gring Gingrich notes is that uh, he thinks Trump can beat Hillary Clinton. And I agree with him. You know, he notes that there was a poll done last week that uh, both Clinton and Trump got 38 percent, you know, if they're running for president against each other. So that's quite close. The other thing he's noted is that um, Republican uh, voting in the primaries has gone up by 60 percent under Trump, while under Hillary Clinton now in these, uh, you know, race with Bernie Sanders, it, uh, Democrat uh, participation or turnout is going down 20 percent. And uh, so I think it's very interesting. The other point I like to make now uh, to uh, wrap it up is look at the market in terms of because here, you know, we can bet here, uh, you know, uh, on politics. And uh, I remember talking to you uh, a few weeks ago, uh, Trump was 14 bit at 18 to become the next president, which means, you know, zero is no chance in 100, you know, he's president. So I thought at the time it was quite low, 14 bit at 18. And uh, I do have to say that I did buy Trump at 18. So when I bought him at 18, uh, you know, 
I was losing already four points because that's the nature of this market. It's a spread market. You don't pay a commission. But I can tell you now that his market to become president, Trump, is 1822. So I'm breaking even on that. But I think that's going to continue to rally. Uh, Clinton is 72, 76. I think that's way, you know, over the top. That you know, but I'm not like uh, I haven't sold Clinton. Um, the downside is that uh, you know you sell her at 72 and you you lose 28. So yeah, there's so it's not like going short something else like a stock where there's unlimited losses. So maybe you know maybe I will think about selling Hillary Clinton short. Ted Cruz now is zero bid at two and a half. So is Bernie Sanders. So basically no chance there yeah so yeah it looks quite interesting and i think uh, his foreign policy speech we had last week trump you know he really fired a, a shot across the bow of you know the big corporate interests and globalization you know he said he he was not a fan of globalization and international you know, treaties or organizations to manage trade between countries. He's more for like bilateral agreements. And um, yeah, so uh, this is it for now. Uh, London markets are closed today, so it's fairly quiet here. But uh, I, the Dow though, the Dow futures is up 20 this morning. Uh, it's 10.30 London time, so 5.30 New York or Eastern Seaboard. Uh, spot gold is up uh, six bucks at 12.98. The high is just at 1300. Silver is like uh, 17.80, so it's down a little bit. It got up to 17.93. Um, dollar yen 106.38. Uh, dollar got down to 106.13. So let's wait and see tomorrow for the uh, Indiana primaries. Yeah, I really think, uh, yeah, the Trump bandwagon is gathering a lot of momentum. I have to admit, uh, last year when he declared to, that he was going to run, you know, I always thought of Trump as more of like a, you know, brash, you know, promoter and, but, you know, I've given him the benefit of the doubt. I've listened to what he said, and he's he makes sense on a lot of things, even though I personally uh, think people to put too much importance on governments and politicians to do things for them. I personally believe more in very small government and the individual doing, you know, the most to help himself and his family. I don't believe in the, in the welfare state, but you know, the there's a lot of angry people and disaffected people, you know, the 99% in America, and it looks like the tide is turning and it would be interesting to see. I don't think the establishment uh, is gonna be able to uh, stop him. And if they try to, they could be in trouble. Uh, have a good day, take care.